Hello, in this video I'm going to introduce you to the Argand diagram. And so this provides us with a way to represent complex numbers. So this is what our Argand diagram looks like. Sometimes it's called the complex plane. And you can see it looks very similar to a Cartesian plane, like xy coordinates. Except rather than an x-axis, we have a real axis, which is representing the real numbers. And rather than a y-axis, we have an imaginary axis, which is representing imaginary numbers. And so let's see how we can represent numbers on the Argand diagram. So first we'll represent the number 4. Well, 4 is a real number, so it's going to be on our real axis, and it's going to be here at the point 4. Next we'll look at negative 3i, which is an imaginary number, so it's going to be at negative 3 on the imaginary axis. And then we'll look at 3 plus 2i, so this is a complex number, okay? And when we're representing complex numbers on the Argand diagram, it's almost like coordinates, and so we'll have our real coordinate and then our imaginary coordinate. And so the point 3 plus 2i is going to be 3 along on the real axis and then 2 up on the imaginary axis. So that's going to be this point here. And then its conjugate is next, so that's 3 minus 2i, and that's going to be this point here. Okay, so it's pretty easy. Now you might notice that a conjugate to a complex number has a line of symmetry in the real axis, so that can make it quite easy when we're drawing complex numbers. And I think that's pretty much it for this video. It's quite a short video just introducing you to the idea of the Argand diagram. Thanks for watching.